again. Lordy with another review. This time it is on this thing, which is the BT84 Beautiful Dream Atomizer. Um, this one I got free of charge for review purposes from charlesvapeshop.co.uk. And yes, I got it right this time. I feel like a very lucky boy for that fact. Um, you get it, um, it's full stainless steel. You can get it um, without the extender for £20.99, um, or you can get it with the extender kit for £24.99. Without the extender, it holds about 1.5 mils of juice. With it, it holds about 3.5. And given that refilling it can be a bit of a faff, my personal recommendation would be for the extended version, especially for an additional £4. Um, so that's it. Let's go and take a look. Now I have already been inside this um, a few times actually, I think this is my fourth take now. Um, but this is the box, I thought it would be quite nice for you to see an unboxing. So here we go. So what do you get? You get um, a pack of spare wicks, now there's only four here because I've already used one of these. I know a lot of people when they do these demonstrations um, say they prefer to do their own uh, wick and coil, as do I, but I think it's a shame that these things rarely get used, so um, I did have a play with one of the ones out of the pack and they're, they're actually not bad, I'm going to show you how you can make them a bit better though. And you can probably see rattle around in, round in there, you get a couple of spare pins too which is a good job because they're tiny and I'm bound to lose them at some point. You also get this beastie. And it is a beastie, obviously being the extended version. So I'm just going to break this down and go through a rebuild with you now. So here we are, all broken down and uh, ready to rebuild. So let's start from the bottom. It's a standard 510 connector, as most devices seem to be these days and onto that goes this little beastie um, now there is a spring that sits in the bottom here and this adds quite a lot to the overall height and I've got to be honest I don't know why it needs to be as big as it is I'm not the most technical of people as you've probably gathered by now but um, but yeah it does seem pretty large for, for nothing more than sending a bit of air through um, so as well as air coming through the base of the 510 connector you've also got an air hole on the side of the device the spring is putting up quite a lot of resistance as I'm turning this which is quite reassuring um, so the idea is you then put your pins in here with your coil you push your wicks down these little channels here and then onto that goes your chimney um, I don't know whether that's a technical term it's just what I'm going to call it the threading here is very very good um, surprisingly good for a device that costs as, as little as this um, and then you can put on your uh, Vivi Nova tank for want of a better term as you can see it's uh, all branded up with the with green there um, and you can if you want just use this as is from this stage so you just put on the the top cap or the drip tip holder or whatever you want to call it squeeze on your drip tip and you're good to go so the more image conscious about you the more image conscious of you might want to use it in this mode when you're out and about um, but in that sense, in that mode it only holds about one and a half mils of juice from what I can gather which isn't a great deal and given the issues that you can have when you're filling it um, I'd much rather leave it extended and not have to mess around so frequently so if you're going to use it in extender mode, you get um, what I'd probably call a second chimney. And it's uh, got an O-ring that's sat in the middle of it there, although you're not really getting that picked up. There you go. And that just push fits on top of chimney number one. You then get your stainless steel extension tank, um, which has got an O-ring. There's an O-ring on the bottom part here too. So it just helps make sure that you're not going to end up with any leaks. And then the top cap goes, top cap goes straight back on the top. I don't know why I can't talk tonight. Followed by again your drip tip. Use the force, Luke. Use the force. Um, right. So there we go. That's it built. I'm now going to break it down again and show you how you can get one of the coils that come in the pack to work a bit better. So here we go. Here's um here's a coil and a bit of wick straight out of the pack. First thing that you notice is just how 
tightly those coils are wound together, the second thing you notice is just how loose it is against the wick. Now I'm going to apologise at this point because this is quite difficult to do on camera, so if there's shadows and other distractions coming in and out of shot, I can, uh, I can only apologise. So the first thing you want to do is just grab the tails and give it a bit of a call. Now I've pulled this a little bit too far, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, personally, I don't like as many winds, so I generally take a wind off as well. I use this on a mechanical mod, um, so for obvious reasons, I want the resistance to be a little bit lower. If you're using this on a Proveri or what have you, then I guess it doesn't matter quite so much. Um, and then as you space the coils back out, you just want them to pretty much line up with the holes that you've got in the base. The other thing to say is that um, the, these holes aren't very deep in the top and so you'd want to cut off a bit of the excess on these tails. Um, now the best type of reference is if you imagine this as a small as a small staple and imagine where those staples would end. That's normally about the right place, the right place to cut it. I'm almost at the point of giving up trying to do this on camera. My hands are too shaky and I'm too uncoordinated to make this look as good as some of the other boys out there. So there we go, that's what I mean. If you imagine that that is a staple and think where, how long that staple is likely to be, it's, it's normally about right. Okay, so what we then do is um, grab the base and just push these into the holes which again I'm finding really difficult on cam uh, there we go made it so then you just take your pins as you would expect and just put them into the holes every time I do these kind of videos I have a newfound level of respect for the other guys out there that do this so well. Um, and then the same on the other side, of course. Then you just want to check your um, spacing and make sure it's pretty even. And the other thing that you want to check is that there's no part of the coil that's touching the base. Right, so the next thing you want to do is um, just push these ends of the wick into the channels, like so. Then comes your chimney, which just screws in over the top. Okay, and as you can see there's a, a fair bit of access there. You want to cut it off as tight to the ends as possible. Job done. Okay, so now back on with the Vivi Nova part. And I am going to set this up extended, um, except on dropping bits. Okay, so now filling the thing, which can prove quite difficult, I'll forewarn you. I'm just going to grab some juice. Oh, what flavour am I going to go for? Let's go for some blueberry. Now, one thing that a few of the guys have said on this is that um, this operates on a, on a pressure system. And if you don't have your finger over the air hole on the side and another finger under there, and if you're not quick enough in the way that you go about it, it's very easy to flood this thing, which you obviously don't want to do. I'm going to just take a risk, <laughs> saying as I don't want to waste your time. Okay. And then just squeeze in down the side. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, and then when you put the top on, literally just give it one turn, turn the whole thing upside down, and then screw it back up. And that's the best way to stop it pushing e-liquid through that chimney and flooding. Now it is a little bit messy, you are going to get a little bit of e-liquid as you can see there. 
Um, but to be honest, I'd much rather have that little bit of mess there than have the mess to clean out doing all of this and maybe just having to go back to the beginning and start again because you flooded it. So there we go. Um, building, filling, guess I just need to take a vape and, and clean off these e-juice filled hands. Right. I'm going to take a vape in a minute, but I had to show you this for the comedy value. Here it is on top of a Vamo in 18650 mode. And it really is a case of use the force, Luke. Um, funnily enough, that's not going to be my, my preferred <laughs> setup on this one. Um, so I'm going to put it on top of my draw tube smart, which is made by the same people. And I've got this with an 18500 battery in at the moment. Um, and it, don't get me wrong, it's still quite hefty. But if I just hold it up next to the Vamo. Um, if you're used to using a Vamo and you're quite happy taking that down the pub, then mm, there's not a lot in it, really. Um, but this thing might not be the most beautiful device in the world. It's not the most attractive thing to look at. But my goodness, the way it vapes. Oh, I'm, I'll stop talking about it. I'll just show you. One from the side, maybe. It kicks ass. It really does. The flavour comes through like a charm. It really does. Um, the other thing that I notice is that I get a little bit more of a throat hit on from this than I do even on a Genesis. I prefer my fruity vapes and. Um, in fact, that's all I've tried in this at the moment is the fruity flavours, but you get every note in that e-liquid. Just, just heaven. Absolute heaven. So, how would I rate this? Um, looks department... <laughs> That's so subjective. I mean, what can you say about the way it looks? Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to loathe it. I've seen that some people have actually replaced this with um, one of the later Vivi Nova tanks that's got a metal sleeve. And um, it, it actually does improve the look quite a lot. Um, subjective, I know. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, throat hit, about an 8.5, 8.5, 9. Um, Flavour, definitely a 9.5. What else do I need to rate? I think that'll do. I think you get the idea anyway. Um, for 25 quid for the extended version, all in stainless steel, all with lovely threading, you really can't go wrong for the money. And for 25 quid, why would you not want to buy one? So I'm going to carry on vaping on this thing. Um, hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. In the words of Columbo, just one more thing. Um, you can get to the stage where you get a few dry hits out of this. Um, if that happens, I've tried a few ways to resolve it. One of them is to um, just put your finger over the air hole, create a really good tight vacuum, and then let go again. Um, it works, but not quite so well as this. Just hold it at the base. In fact, this might be why the base is as big as it is. Um, and just slacken off the Vivi tank from it slightly. And you should see, there you go, you get some air bubbles that start to rise up. As soon as you get those air bubbles, tighten it back down again, and you're good to go. Right, I really am off now. Cheers.